College football has a flawed system, and they've had a flawed system for years. But leaving Florida State out of the playoffs, that kind of takes it to a new level. At the core, let me explain to you how the game of football works. And it seems like a lot of us have forgotten. Two teams go out on the field, they play a game, and you try and score the most points. And there's either a winner or a loser. There's no ties in college football. So it's pretty simple, right? Florida State is in the ACC a conference we consider a power five, which means that they are one of the five most dominant conferences in the country. Knowles ran the table. Perfect 13-0 record. That includes wins over LSU and Florida from the SEC, another conference that's in the power five, right? And they won their conference championship over a pretty good Louisville team with their third string quarterback. No, they didn't score a lot of points, but they won the game, right? Florida State should be in because they played the games on their schedule, they won all of them. Now understand, they lost star quarterback Jordan Travis two weeks ago. A big part of that is why the Knowles aren't in the playoffs, because when you lose a star like that, especially at the quarterback position, the committee starts to question if the Knowles are worthy with possibly their third string quarterback. And after the injury, Knowles often scored 15 points and 16 points. Not eye-popping numbers. Tate Rodemaker, Brock Glenn didn't exactly look great either. But you know what? They won the game. If after Jordan Travis got hurt, all the FSU star players just said, you know what, I'm taking my football and going home. They opted not to finish the season. People would be furious right now. They'd be questioning these players' drive, their love for the game, and the state of college football right now would be in mass discussion. But you know what, the team banded together. They went out on the field with two more games to play, and they won both of them. And the college football committee told them, eh, None of that matters because you don't have your star quarterback. How does that make sense? It doesn't. I don't get it. Florida State with Tate Rodemaker, Brock Glenn at quarterback would be a huge underdog against Michigan. Of course, we know that. But last year, TCU was a long shot against Michigan, and the Horned Frogs pulled it off. Look, I know it's not a perfect system, and there is no perfect system for college football, and there never will be, but there's got to be something better than this because this just doesn't make sense.